Exactly when exactly we know what when exactly morning is. Okay. I never stay sleeping straight through. So you know, got up, did some stuff, milled around. Typically around one o'clock in the afternoon, to, uh, around that time frame, and decided that I'm not gonna go back to bed. To, uh, I've, so I've been up for about four hours or three four hours, and anyway, so um, uh, might as well just um. Uh, begin here so it is 15 hours and 50 minutes into the day of Wednesday uh, March 23rd 2016 yeah I've been working uh, uh, ironically enough enough work is getting done uh, episode 14 is already done rendering uh, I'm working working on episode 15 today uh, so that's good you know things are moving along I have uh, I have uh, the kitchen area to work on, the, not the, kitchen, the entryway area to work on. That has to be fixed up today. Uh, there's a web server there that sort of went down. That has to be fixed up and got back up on, up online again. So uh, that will be sort of the next little task that I have to do. I still have to work on uh, AKU, AKAU TV, the Academia University TV, and I also have to work on uh, Kawhi Tea House TV. Those two, those two TV channels have to come into the uh, more properly into the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network. So I'll be working on that today as well, and hopefully uh, I'm gonna try and do the first uh, test shot, the first uh, uh, ep the first episode of uh, Tweetline Plus. I know it's, it's been in, in the it's been in the works for a long time, but sometimes you know you just got to do it. You just, it's until it is absolutely right or, or good enough to go out, it's not because it's never it's never absolutely right. Uh, you're looking for something that will eventually draw people in. So this is why uh, I've sort of held it off for now. Uh, make sure that the workflow for uh, Big Bang Theory L is good, and now I have to start to working on the workflow for uh, uh, Tweetline Plus for the news channel. So. Uh, that's sort of the next step on there. And then after there, I could do for Academy, Academy University TV and for Kawhi House TV. Right now, the Kawhi House TV and the Academy, Academy University, these are the initial stuff, so it's, there's not necessarily stuff that has to be worked in the schedule. These are one-off projects, uh, sort of odds and ends that have to be cleaned up and uh, worked on. So I'll be doing that today. And maybe you see some of the test shots in here. Uh, who knows? We'll see how things go and, you know... Uh, what progresses throughout my day. Uh, anyways, I'm going to leave this short here t for now because I am bringing you around more. And uh, we'll see what happens for the day. So, you know, it's going to be something different. All right, take it easy. <clears throat> well, welcome back to the next segment of the BTS vlog. And just uh, finishing up the... Uh, first part of my day oh. it's been a bit of a, a mixed day a mixed bag of things uh, some good some sort of slowing down type of uh, not, see the, the, the bad isn't necessarily bad it's just not as good as it should be that's all so um, let me give you a time and date stamp it is 22 hours and 39 minutes into the day of Wednesday, March 23rd, 2016. The good is that uh, the next set of clips are in the um, 
editing bay uh, episode 15 has already been rendering is already rendered and episode 16 is now rendering it'll be another four or five hours uh, for before it's done so and this is the whole thing about with, with rendering is that uh, after the editing you have to render it uh, it'll take for a half hour show it takes about uh, about five hours so one whole system is just you can use just for that so uh, I'm working on expanding the editing desk I haven't got to do all the work I need to get done in order to get the the next part of the uh, uh, editing bay done so I can have uh, two or three systems rendering at the same time uh, so that's that's not done yet but uh, we should get there second half tonight I should also test out um, the first run of uh, Tweetline Plus tonight as well so uh, these are things that I'm working on bit by bit they are going to eventually move forward it's just that uh, they're not, it's not moving forward as quick as I thought it would be uh, I was still feeling a bit of fatigue from, from walking yesterday on Tuesday and it turns out that as I went through my list of supplies, that I still have to uh, go food sh go shopping again. I was supposed to go today, but there's a storm out, so there is no shopping today. So I'll have to do that, postpone that till tomorrow. And then uh, tomorrow is not going to be necessarily. It's it's going to be a change in the menu. I realize that as uh, as I move forward with things. That I'm losing my taste for certain foods. Uh, most of my processed food is gone. Sorry about that. I got something in my eye. Most of my processed food is gone. Uh, I was gonna have onion rings again. Uh, about the about a sort of a freezer pack full. Uh, didn't work out that well. It's not that the 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 onion rings weren't good. It's just I've lost my taste for them. And so, uh, the way I do my French fries now is the way I, uh, I, 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 I it's, it's not necessarily the, uh, I don't buy the packs of, uh, f uh, frozen French fries anymore. I use, um, uh, potato, I like the Yukon, uh, the Yukon Gold, or the, uh, the white potatoes. Uh, and I have a chipper, I put them in the chipper, and it, it produces, uh, French fries. So I'm going to do that, but I have to go get the uh, uh, the bag tomorrow. I was going to go do that, that today, but... And the thing is, yesterday, putting in the bag, yes, getting the uh, the uh, potatoes yesterday just wasn't feasible. I couldn't fit it in the bag, and the weight would have been... Would have been I would have gone over my weight limit again. Uh, so I have to be careful. I can't... There's one of the limitations to, to uh, shopping, the way I shop, is that you, you can't put too much load in there, so you have to watch what you're putting in. So uh, I have to go back again tomorrow. I'll end up getting uh, the potatoes. <sighs> and what I'll probably end up doing as well is I have to get uh, uh, coat hangers uh, for the uh, front entryway. Because uh, I, I have two, two jackets that I primarily use, and I want to put one... I don't want them hanging one on top of each other. I want them to have two separate hooks. Because sometimes it's, it's difficult to interchange them. And it gets a little messy. It helps clean the place up. And that's what i got to do. Is i got to finish cleaning the entryway up. So that I can uh, start a new project there. Uh, and this is basically uh, the, working on web servers. Uh, particularly Linux web servers. Uh, in that same area there. But uh, that's going to come as a... That has been sort of... Pus been pushed back out because I was supposed to do the food shopping to get the parts that I need, the uh, coat hangers. Uh, but that didn't happen because of the storm, so the whole project got pushed back until Friday. So we'll see what in ends up happening on Friday uh, once I have the parts. I did fix up, I began fixing up the music studio. I got uh, a new extension cord, so I've been able to re realign the power for the area so I can now. Uh, run all the equipment that I need to run uh, at uh, uh, over there so uh, that's working out well uh, but right now I'm just sort of right before I go to bed and uh, sleep for about a couple of hours 
Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just finishing up watching, uh, Shade Tards. I watched my usual thing, and it's the one that I, uh, I talked about before that I couldn't remember the, the title of. It's Our Family Nest. I've been watching that as well. It's a good show. So, anyways, uh, I will uh, see you in the next segment, and we'll continue on with our discussions and, and so on and so forth. All right, see you then. Welcome, everyone, to the next segment of the Big Bay Theory ERLs uh, BTS vlog. Yeah, it's just about 7 o'clock in the morning. So let me give you the time and date stamp. It's 7 hours and 3 minutes into the day of Thursday, March 24th, 2016. Yeah. It's nearing the end of my day. Uh, I got up again to start my second half of the day. Which appears that my day now is split into two. Uh, so, I, start, I got up, started working around 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, put in another five hours, because so it's, it's now 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just now finishing up. Uh, I've been doing some extra work on, on my open IP TV. It's gonna, working on the uh, version 1.4. Uh, it's a fu essentially a web page. Or, or, or should I say a website that goes on to the Android box, and uh, I use it to sort of choose as a TV guide and a uh, channel selector that brings me right to the videos that I want to see, particularly on a regular basis. And so that's kind of where we are now. Uh, so it's 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 it makes. Uh, Viewing uh, uh, your reality TV, uh, which is primarily on YouTube, uh, quite enjoyable actually. It's like uh, having a, being watch, watching a regular t t TV channel. Yeah. Uh, sitting forward. Yeah. That's but I, I had I had it misadjusted on, on the um, the horizontal position. Yeah, but they just say it gets me tired, and um, although it's, it's 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 working at night is is has a different feel to it. They've talked to a number of people who do a lot of work at night, and if they are a night out, they, there's something about the quiet of the night that really uh, is mood inducing. So if you're a writer, or an artist, or whatever, uh, or someone who does a lot of thinking, the, a lot of times the night time is when you uh, end up with your most creative and um, unusual thoughts that sort of push you forward. And this is sort of no exception here, you know, doing the research. There, there are times when I just sort of need to sort of push outside the box and uh, the, the uh, sort of the midnight study sessions. Uh, really does that. It does sort of uh, bring an edge that uh, isn't there during the day. And it, 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 I was looking at the, some of the other vloggers, and this is sort of sort of see the, see what's going on. Is that I have a different type of type of vlog. It's not uh, there to specifically make me famous, but uh, Necess but sort of open up the uh, perspective of a scientist and show what I do on a daily basis if, if there are people who are interested in that. But for most of the vloggers I've seen so far, they're either on the family side of things and they have really cute kids or they're trying to do a comedy thing. They do this mostly a comedy, and of course they all go out places. They go out to different uh, festivals and so on and so forth. And this is their vlog, and so this is what's viewed as entertaining. But the thing is, I don't know how many of them actually uh, present sort of uh, you know the mundane life that they live. You know, if 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 that's sort of the situation where you're really seeing the mundane ins and outs. 
I know there's a lot of description going on, but, uh, you know, describing the day. But uh, beyond that, um, the only one I've seen that, that's sort of really brought you into their life was uh, Nerds Arell's uh, Cassandra Ebner. She's the only one that I saw that really sort of brought you into things. The others were sort of, I don't know, there. <laughs> they weren't. Again, this is why I probably I, I the channels I chose were weren't your typical channels. They weren't uh, simply there to be there. They offered something um, beyond what the other channels were doing. So, and it's interesting to see how the, the kids, uh, the younger people. When I talk about kids. I'm talking about maybe sixteen and under. When they have their channels how they present their material, how they present their lives and uh, their views on editing. And, you know, these th th things are sort of what, what interest me. Guys tend to be, uh, I guess you would say typically guys, and that's neither a good or a bad thing, but just, if you're not a standard guy, then, the appreciation for the channels is prob probably not be there. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. I was going to talk about more about physiology, but I'll leave the physiology discussion to when I get up and go over my physiology for the last two days. Uh, Physiology is uh, the study of your body, the mechanisms within the body, and how it adapts and changes on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, I will be getting into that tomorrow uh, when I get up. I'll sort of discuss the last 48 hours, uh, how my body is shaping up for the walk, from, from the walking, from the hiking. I was supposed to go uh, food shopping uh, on Wednesday. But it didn't work out. Uh, it was raining. Now there's an ice storm. So I don't know what's going to happen for Thursday for the ne in the next couple of hours. Because it's already Thursday morning. It's like 7 to, it's 7 10 right now. Uh, I have to make a decision on what I'm going to do. Typically around noon. There are two times I, I, can, I, I typically go food shopping. Uh, it's between uh, noon and uh, and two, three o'clock in the afternoon, and then usually around seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, that's the second window. So, if it doesn't clear up for noon tomorrow, it get pushed to the seven p.m. window, and then if the if the seven p.m. window is not clear, then it gets scrapped until Friday. So. We'll end up seeing what happens. You know, we'll have to sort of, you know, play this by ear. And that's the way things go. Things, you know, you, you don't know how, that's what I'm saying. You don't necessarily know how the day is going to go because there are different aspects to the day that are so variable that um, um, you really can't say, okay, one, uh, one day I'm going to do this, the next day I'm going to do that. You have a general idea, but uh, the specifics doesn't don't really pop up until you get up in the morning and say, you, you got to get up. I do the check over, I check all the systems out, and then from there I go into, I get into the list of what needs to be done, uh, and then once I have a general idea what needs to be done, I come back to the bed and get my day started from there, and that's the uh, opening part of the video. So, <laughs> is getting the day started because there's not there's not enough light to film uh, when I first get up, so. It's when I first get it's the getting started video that 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 uh, it is the beginning of the day. Anyways, I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave this here. Um, the seventeenth uh, edition of Big Bang Theory RL, uh, Big Bang Theory, uh, Big Bang Theory RL, uh, BTS vlog is uh, being rendered. It should be done. Uh, sometime later on today, 
I think there's another, uh, well, there's another two hours left to go. So by 9 o'clock in the morning, it should be done. And I also should be uploading another episode uh, today as well. So look forward to that. Anyways, uh, I think that will be it for now. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth.